tri-party repo is a lot like a, a loan of cash against collateral. Um, the reason it's called a repo is that it's a repurchase agreement. Legally, it's structured as a sale of securities and then a repurchase by the borrower of cash. The tri-party repo market in the U.S. is a very big market, and so it's a key source of funding for dealers, securities dealers, in particular for their inventory of securities, the securities that they hold to make markets. It's important for uh, the public to be aware of uh, the way the most important financial markets in our economy function so that they can have informed opinion. So the interactive is actually um, taking data that's collected on a monthly basis. It's been collected since May 2010. And it's uh, giving the user an ability to graph specific series, whether it's margins for different types of collateral, the size of the market, which is a, a source of great and continuing interest to the public um, that we get a lot of questions about. Uh, and it really it, it enables the user to kind of go to the, the feature of a tri-party transaction that they're interested in and slice and dice the information in different ways and see in an instant what the time series over time actually looks like. So one of the big advantages of the interactive compared to the data that exist before is that before if you wanted to see how things were changing over time you had to you know look at a number on, on a PDF and then uh, go back to the website and look at another number at a different time and that was just a cumbersome and, and uh, complicated process. And the interactive really covers all of the key aspects that we routinely get questions about from the public, from congr congressional staff, from reporters. So I think this interactive will be really useful for anybody that's a student of the markets or just wants to understand kind of how the tri-party repo market has been changing. Um, it's really a nice way to visually get a quick sense of how trends in the market are developing, and it's much easier to access than the spreadsheet uh, kind of format for data that we've previously made available.